Hi, I'm Zach Faginson with Miami Today, and I'm here at Mount Sinai Medical Center on Miami Beach for an interview with the center's president and CEO, Stephen Sonnereich. Mr. Sonnereich joined the center in 2001 after about five and a half years at Cedars Medical Center. However, he started his career at Mount Sinai nearly 20 years before. When he returned, the medical center was faced with serious challenges. However, through management overhauls and serious changes, he brought it back to profitability and is now ready to lead it through all the changes healthcare reform will bring. Well, I, um, I actually started my career here right out of college uh, working in the billing department. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the first 20 years of my career, um, I worked um, my way up through the organization and um, I left at the end of 1996. I had been um, executive vice president and chief operating officer um, and then went on to be the CEO at, at Cedars Medical Center for five and a half years. So, yeah, I've been very fortunate, you know, with regard to the opportunities that I've had in my career. And uh, coming back to Mount Sinai Medical Center for me was you know, was coming back home. Um, you know, this is um, um, you know those of us, and, and when you walk around Mount Sinai, um, we have so many people who've been here, um, you know, for 15, 20, 25, 30 years, and um, it's it's. Um, People are passionate about our hospital. Our our employees are. We have so many long-term employees. Our medical staff is. Our board is. Um, in many instances, our board, um, you know, right now as well as our donor groups, you know, we're we're now with a second and third generation of of individuals who um, are related to the original. Uh, founders of Mount Sinai Medical Center. So you know, there, there's a real passion. Mount Sinai you know, is something that gets into your bloodstream and um, we all feel that. And so coming back to Mount Sinai for me you know, was really um, you know, the, the next step um, in terms of you know, my, my overall career. I think when, um, when any organization um, breaks down, mm -hmm. And, um, and Mount Sinai you know, was in a, in, a, in a serious ditch um, back at the end of 2001 when, when, when I returned here. Um, it's the same fundamentals. It's all the blocking and tackling of running any organization, large or small. Mm -hmm. And you know, this is a, there's a large organization, over $500 million um, a year of, of revenues. Um, revenue cycle, supply chain, labor management. Mm -hmm. Those are really you know, the keys, and um, and getting those um, those key structural components of the organization um, back online and working hard to get them to be at a best demonstrated practice level, so that you can be competitive in a marketplace as competitive as Miami Dade County. Uh, so it was just you know really building you know a team of people. Um, who understand that, understand how to block and tackle, whether it's revenue cycle, labor management, or supply chain. Um, having the support um, of, uh, of the medical staff leadership and the board leadership uh, to make change. And, and I um, was fortunate to have all of that support. And so here we are today, eight and a half years later, and, um, and Mount Sinai you know, does operate uh, both uh, very effectively and efficiently. Financially, where Mount Sinai is at is last year we had our first profitable year since 1997. Uh, we expect to um, repeat that uh, during 2010. Um, you know, we, we've been having um, a, a good fiscal year 2010. I, I feel comfortable saying that after um, you know, almost five months um, of, of, of the year. And um, so, you know, all of our indicators right now are heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. um, we're always trying to get better and do better. That's you know also part of our culture here at Mount Sinai, and and I expect that uh, we'll do well in 2010, and and hopefully even better in 2011.